everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. How are you all doing? Hey, I want to thank you for all of your wonderful comments on all of my videos, but particularly on May Makes. You guys are great. I am not going to be able to write back to each one of you, and then I get all confused. I think, did I give the hearts out on this, or did I just press the thumbs up? What did I do? And some people got a reply, and some didn't. Well, you know what? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I read every single comment. Where am I supposed to look? Right up there? I read every single comment. If you don't hear back from me personally, know that I read your comment. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I absolutely loved it. And thank you. Okay, I've got a bunch, uh, too much going on right now. Uh, this guy, let me, let me, uh, invite Colin into the frame here. He got on the fabric train. Oh, yes, he did. You wearing your shorts, your Del Mar shorts? I'm wearing my new Del Mar shorts. Oh, he's got the Del Mars rocking. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to ask you, two events happened in the last week or so. Yeah, I turned 18 and I graduated high school, so a lot's been going Woo! on. Yeah. 18, yeah. graduated high school. We've had some uh, whirlwind ops around mm -hmm. here, right? So Lots now, so on, now yeah. the dust is starting to settle. He's gearing up to go on a beach trip with the church group, leaving Saturday. Even Saturday, yeah. He did not realize that the Outer Banks is roughly eight hours away. But, I thought it was a three-hour drive. Well, but... we got the drama mean yeah. you're going to be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. But we were in, a, we were in Walmart today. And he said, Mom, can I get this fabric? Now, how many young men do you know who are shopping for fabric? This came in a pre-pack, and it is uh, one yard of, I guess it's quilting cotton, and it's got those beautiful horses on it. And tell us what your vision is. Well, I'd like a bandana out of it, because for everybody wondering, I have long hair, so I like to wear bandanas. And I also got this bandana today which is a sort of psycho, psych psychedelic tie-dye. Okay. And so I'd like to have a bandana out of this sort of wild horse, Chincoteague Island type um, fabric. And I think that's really cool. And I can make you a bandana out of that. And I was thinking that we might even have enough left over to, I don't know, put sleeves on something. Back, Maybe so. Back pockets on your Of course, a yard isn't jeans. that much fabric, but it's more than enough for a bandana. Well, we could go back and get another yard, and I could make you another pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. And Walmart has the little one-yard packets of a bunch of patterns or fabrics for only like five bucks, so I just decided, you know, why not get it? So I think it's really cool, mm -hmm. and yes, I can make a bandana, and yes, to you, being interested in fabric. Uh, yeah, she's getting me on the fabric train, everybody. All right. Thank <laughs> All you for right. your time. Short guest appearance. Okay. This is a little top that I made by Simplicity. It is 8694. And I really like it. I like how it fits. I did the one with the little tie on the sleeve, obviously. And I want to make another one because, ah, oh, easy. Slide over your head, no problems. The neckline is faced, and then it's got that little um, ruffle detail around the hem. So I've got another pile of fabric, and I've got another pile of patterns. No one is surprised to hear any of this. But I also have an idea that I'm gonna share with you at the end and I'll see what your response is to my idea. Let me show you some of my fabric that this is the other half of my order from Fashion Fabrics Club when they had their super duper 60% off sale and everything was two and three dollars a yard. This is a sweater knit. So it's not right for the season that we're in, I'm already hot. The struggle is real. 
And you know, those hot flashes, those heat flashes, they don't last like a year or six months. They go on for years and years. But let's not think about that. Okay, so this is a sweater knit. I thought it was really pretty. You can see the knit maybe up close. It looks like there is a little flaw in the fabric. And that reminds me, there was a big flaw in this fabric from um, Fabric Wholesale Direct. So I got in touch with them. They were fine, they were nice. They said, we'll send you another yard, which they did. So um, someone had written in the comments that they had trouble with this exact print from Fab Fabric Wholesale Direct and that there were flaws in it. And what do you know, I found one. Well, it looks like there's a flaw in this one too, but it's very close to the selvage, so I am probably, is that close to the selvage? Oh gosh. It, well, it's close enough to the selvage that I'm not going to fiddle with it. I thought that was a nice print for a sweater knit. This is a border print rayon chalet this was two dollars and 38 cents a yard and i bought a bunch i think i bought four yards four yards will generally give me enough for a maxi dress or a jacket i wonder if this shirt makes me look real broad it could just be the angle because i feel like when i stand up it's a bit more balanced but when i sit down it kind of makes this, this area look football player-esque. And I don't need that. At any rate, four yards of this, I can make a maxi dress out of it, or I could make two garments. Why not? This was pretty incredible. This is a jacquard. It is heavy, and it is a knit jacquard, so it's got a little bit of stretch to the fabric. It's a really nice quality fabric, and to, to think that I got it for $2.38 a yard is, that makes me happy. That'll be a winter garment as well. This is not terribly exciting. It's just like an olive drab knit uh, in the vein of a ponty knit, but you know, beautiful quality, nice and stretchy, opaque, not a very exciting color. However, it is a color that I love to wear. This is a rayon in navy, and it's just, you know, it's got a very smooth and drapey hand to it. Not sure what I'm going to make out of that, but I love it. I was thinking about a shirt for Brad out of this. And if I can find that on here. Heather Black Diamond Kite CHA. Oh, chambray. That's what that is. That is a black diamond chambray, and that was $2.58 a yard. I think that that will make a dandy shirt for Brad, as will this. They call this flannel. Um, it has very, very little of the fuzzy flannel on it. It just feels more like a brushed cotton, and that is a plaid. I am not a big plaid person. I don't wear much plaid at all but i think it would look great for a shirt for brad and of course that will be wintry too being a flannel this is a rayon shally once again they call that nickel and sea foam i believe and you know rayon shally is just well i love it i love it I kind of see this in a shirt dress for some reason. Here we have a white bamboo jersey knit. 
bit higher price point at $3.10 a yard. It's kind of what I would call a cool white, maybe with a little bit of an icy silver tone to it. But lovely feel, lovely drape, and this, I love this stuff. This is called um, Sterling Gray, is it? No, it's called Blue Gray Active Wear. I doubt also active wear out of it. It's got some nice stretch to it, of course, but I love that color. Blue gray, just kind of funky. Maybe a column dress. Yeah, something like that. Blue gray active wear, $2.78 a yard. And then this is an ITY knit. Now, you might think, ooh, that is hideous and ugly, and I would not be offended. It is a little bit, I don't know, it looks kind of techno to me. I figured I would just make a dress out of this, but then Colin saw it and he's like, oh, that would make such a cool shirt, like a kind of tight, form-fitting polo shirt. Um, hey, maybe. And then finally, this beautiful, it's actually printed in the salvage. It says, Grassum Suiting, G-R-A-S-I-M, Suiting. Just beautiful, I am not certain of the, um, of the fabric content because it just says pale blue suiting but I can tell you it's a very tight weave there's no stretch whatsoever and lovely color pale blue suiting two dollars and fifty cents a yard so that wraps up all of my goods from Fashion Fabrics Club during their 60% off sale and I'm waiting for another one because once you get a taste of that it's like, you gotta wait for another one to come around. There was a simplicity sale. I went a little bit bonkers with that, and I also picked up some new look patterns. I'll just grab them right here and go through them rather quickly. 8652, after I had such success with Candace's formal dress by Gertrude Maid, I got her pencil skirt pattern. The tops are not included. That is a pencil skirt pattern. It's got a nifty little detail at the kick pleat in the back. Oh, this one I just threw in here. This is obviously a Butterick 6628. I thought this was so pretty. There are two reviews on Pattern Review and they're both one star. And let me tell you, people are very generous with their reviews. It's kind of like giving birth, right? You go through all this horrible pain, and then, oh, it was wonderful! Because you're looking at an adorable baby. Well, this, both reviewers gave it one star. So I'm not sure how that's going to go down. Back to simplicity, 1370. Great for summer, and those are actually skorts. Skorts, you know, skirt plus shorts, very practical, kind of like the little asymmetric hem going on there. Simplicity 8846, I bought this for the tie front jacket. I think it's awfully cute, and the dress is cute too really loving this tie front action and it's everywhere now have you noticed simplicity 1653 now I don't buy these amazing fit patterns as a rule because they have you sew a one inch seam and then you're supposed to put the garment on and decide if you like the fit of it and then tinker with it and all of that. So I'm not crazy about this whole MO when you sew these 
amazing fit. Tell me if you've made them before and if you like that one inch seam and how you got on with that. I do think it's an awfully cute dress with that little side wrap detail. Simplicity 8909, love it. We'll definitely be sewing one of those for summer. My new look patterns, I have four of them. This one I picked up at Walmart when we were there today. They still have a bunch of new looks in the drawer. I've heard that some Walmarts are phasing them out. So this is new look 6266, a very standard button front shirt. I'd like to make a button front shirt and do a contrasting placket. This is new look 6403. It's an older one. Picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Now you know they put those $6.59 price tags on them. Don't let them charge you that. They are $3.95, so they're 40% off of $6.59. Um, anyway, I bought this for the t-shirts. I think they're great, and you can do a little contrast there at the shoulder. Cute, versatile. This is a new release, 6625. I don't know if I've bought this before or not. I don't think I have. But I love the way that that shirt is so flowing and it has this nifty overlay. Um, I want to try it. And I love the pants. And finally, new look, 6627. I bought this for the pants as well. They look like they're fairly high-waisted. Um, which can be comfortable. I'm not gonna tuck anything into them. Haven't decided about the top or the skirt. Here's my idea before I go. Do you ever look on Net a Porter? Net a Porter, I'm not sure how to say it. It's a website and they've got all kinds of designer clothes. It's really fun and they've got these nice big close-ups of the clothing. So, if I can get this to show up. I saw this on there. These pants are by a designer called Alice and Olivia. They are $395. They are made out of a crepe de chine. And I thought, we can make those. Heck yeah, we can make those. So, what do you think of a new construction video with wide pants? And I particularly love this new look pattern with which to make them, 6384. I have made these pants right here. They are easy as pie. They are flattering. They are comfortable. And you know what? We can make our own wide pants. Come on now, lighting. Work with me. We can make our own wide designer pants and we can even do it out of crepe de chine. I hopped on to Fashion Fabrics Club and boy, do they have some beautiful crepe de chines. Um, the wilder the print, the better. I mean, what fun, what fun. So I will say this, if you're shopping for something to make crazy pants out of or something like that, try to make sure that there's some black, or white, some kind of neutral in the color palette so that you can choose a plain top to wear with them because with a bright, bold print like this, you are gonna wanna wear a solid, simple top. That is all I have for you right now. Oh, I was gonna say I, I'm ending a 20-year homeschooling career with Colin's graduation, and I am so grateful that I have sewing. Sewing waits for us. You know, when you have some kind of crazy life change coming at you, be it good or bad, difficult or seemingly easy, sewing waits for you like an old friend, and it's there and you can sit down and create something. And you know, it just kind of helps to soothe your soul. So I am just grateful that we share the love of sewing here. 
Thank you all for being here today, and I'm going to read your comments as they roll in. I appreciate them so much. Bye.